Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Brahmin's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome and it's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning sub subscriber, Soul Family, it's good to have you back. Now, this is not burning that much, which is strange. I've, I had a calling to put on my necrometer um, to see what messages wanted to come through. Um, there's quite a few names that came out. Laurie, Trinity, um, Isabella. There was another one I can't remember. Evelyn. Evelyn also came out. Um, someone's sister came through as well. A sister came through. Now, this is not burning that much, which is interesting because this has been burning. I've burned it quite a few times. Um, please know that all of my readings, I have to put the legal disclaimer in there. Just know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. That's including my personal ones as well as the ones that you see on, on you know, public. Um, anything that comes up in the areas of law, finance, mental health or physical health, please know that I am not a professional in yes. those areas. Jess, you must have been reading my mind because I heard that I heard Jessie. I heard the name Jessie and I had the song Jessie's Girl in my head. Um, but anything that comes up in those areas, if it really, really um, resonates for you, please make sure that you are actually getting advice from those in those areas before taking any advice from me because I don't take any responsibility for anyone on here or your actions while watching my videos or thereafter because we are all adults. Children should not be watching my videos in any way, shape or form. Um, please use your common sense and your discernment when making choices or on what it is that resonates. Please know that my readings are for um, they're for confirmation and clarity of what you already intuitively know. Intuitively know. Why am I? Th I'm kind of like falling over my my words a little bit. Um, so if anything comes up and it's shocking or it's worrying or it's concerning or it's confusing, then it's just not your read and it's absolutely okay. It is a collective read, which means I will be picking up on many, many um, energies. Some of them may resonate for you and some may not resonate for you and it's all right. If it doesn't, just throw it out. It's absolutely fine. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm just picking up on energies. It's up to you whether or not you actually assign a gender. You don't have to. If you do, please know that um, you can swap it around if you want to or you can leave it as it is. Now that's out of the way, let's get on with it. Be your true self and you miss someone. Somebody is, they've, ah, somebody's sending something because you are being true to yourself or someone in the collective is being true to themselves. There's something about cleansing away what is not resonating. Waste. Yeah, <laughs> clearing away waste clearing away what does no what no longer resonates there is someone that has been sending some sort of some sort of hex or some sort of it was supposed to be an imbalance because you've also got here you miss someone but i'm getting more um because i know that there's a poppet in that that person's hands in blue so what's that to do with the throat chakra can I get one more card, please? Anything you'd like to say, Spirit? Clean up time and your sensuality is beautiful. Okay, so this is to do with the root chakra. Somebody is sending root work, and I've just realised I have not rang my bell. So if you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening device now, as I'm going to be clearing this space around us. Okay. You have clean up time. Your sensuality is beautiful, and it's time to be brave. There's something that needs to be cleansed, but I don't feel like it's just a ritual that needs to be done. It's not like a house cleansing or a guided meditation. You can do all of those things, but it's also giving me something to do with your root chakra. Grounding your root chakra. I might put, um, there's a decree that I can Modulate. put down. Modulate. Okay. I, I'm, I'll put it down below. Um, if you want to listen to it, if you want to listen, if you want to speak it out word for word as they're saying, because there's something to do with your throat chakra that's very important, or the way that you speak, and the way that you are um, authentically showing up for yourself, and people are seeing this, they're trying to unground someone here. Why are they trying to unground someone? What just fell out? Offer. Oh, call for help is upside down. And it says, reach out, need for backup, admit your needs. But it's upside down. So someone here is in their ego. Or they want you to be in your ego. Someone's definitely using a scrying mirror or a crystal ball and they can't, they can't read you or they can't read something. There is definitely a blockage coming through. Or there's a wall up 
like an energetic wall, like a misty wall. It was supposed to block how people viewed you or how you viewed yourself. I don't know if this is kind of like, um, if it's blown up in their face or something, because now they, they that that veil that they put up so that other people couldn't see you has gone back and they can't see you. Your sensuality is beautiful. There's someone from your past who is a bit obsessed with the way that you look or something to do with your bath water. Why something to do with your bath water? I don't know. If She's here. She is here. Who is she? Internal struggle, personal challenges, wanting to improve. There's a need to clean someone's um, someone's mirrors, reflective mirrors or reflective surfaces. Damp. Why am I getting damp? There's something about damp going on. And they're really someone's interested in the way that you bathe. What is it that you use to bathe away certain things? Because you do it very quickly. Or there's some sort of fiery energy that returns things. It could be you actually sending this back. But I'm getting like red dragon energy. I don't know if somebody works with, with dragons or if they're, well, they were born in the year of the dragon. Or there's a fiery spirit around you that protects you. It could be the fae. But I'm getting more, dra I'm getting more, it's dragons. Or yeah, that kind of energy. The monster within internal struggle, personal challenges and wanting to, to improve. Upstart, tumult and re revolution. Thank you, lively. Yeah, so here with being an upstart, really it's being lively. Um, upstart, tumult and revolution is upside down. Why? This is about, it's like a, a competition. Someone's competing. Internal struggle, personal challenges and wanting to improve. Who does though? Who who has been having this internal struggle? Maybe it was you or the person you're thinking of. Somebody who has been stalking. Somebody who's been stalking, trying to invade and watch someone here. And you've got aggressor tracker and provider, but it's in reverse. So this person's quite obsessed with our oh, renunciation, offering and letting go. Deep and it says connecting deep within sacred dance and instinct. And real, authentic and organic. Okay, so someone here who may have been stalking for the wrong reasons, who may have been an aggressor tracker and what an aggressor and tracker, has now gone in the opposite and wants to be a provider. This person, this someone that you miss in reverse, this person's obsessed with the way that you look or your body or how you move. There's and they they want to know about your bathing techniques. And I don't know if it's because it's a spicy energy or it's because they want to know how you're cleansing away things that are being sent someone's definitely trying to block how people view you or how much people view you i don't know are you a content creator for someone here they're a content creator and they whoever's doing this is pure jealousy it's like if you won't speak to them or you won't look at randy. them then no one will look at you randy well that's got two meanings doesn't it um there you go if you won't look at them, then no one will look at you. I don't know if you've blocked this person. And that internal struggle and like wanting to improve, this person wants to be the one that, what? They want to be the one that what though? Because the thing is as well, is this card with prey, with stalked, invaded and watched, when you look at what's, in, what, what's actually stalking them, death, something that ended, something that's been and gone, been and gone. We place that one there and this one here. You've also got authentic, real and organic and then renunciation, offering and letting go with sacrifice. And that's a, that's an unalive swan. Yes. Six, someone's sitting on the fence. Or someone watches from a fence. What is that about? But you've got this coming out again with uh, be your true self and authentic and you've got a lot of red around here. This is very grounded energy. What are they doing root chakra work? This is to do with like um, sensuality, identity, connecting deep within sacred dance and instinct. This is about blocking someone's Kundalini arising or their Shakti energy. They know that they have to let go of something or they want you to let go of something. What do they want you to let go of? Why don't you have to go over here? What do they want you to let go of this? those windows are closed and it's still so very noisy guide places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight and then you've also got dilettante pres uh, pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess 
So this person, I don't know, are they... So for example, if you're a tarot reader, this person may be in the same industry as you, or they may have been working with someone that was in the same industry as you. If you're not a tarot reader, this is getting, this is false information being given. Or they're, no, they're wanting you to relay false information to see whether or not what they're doing is working. So it's almost like sending a hex and wanting you to have weird dreams about, I don't know, um, kids' toys. And then you go to work and you talk to whoever about kids' toys. And they're over, they're overhearing or whoever it is that they're working with will come back, look, look up. So somebody's they're almost like remote, remote viewing or something along those lines. And then they will go back and be like, yep, no, that worked, that worked. We, we, we placed that into their dream state, for example. And they were talking about blah, 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 blah. Encouraged. Encouraged. So they are trying to test the waters at the moment to see whether or not what they're doing is working. But this person, you've got lover coming out. Great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation of someone or something. You definitely have somebody who is quite um, delulu over you or delulu over someone in the collective. Someone who places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. So this could be someone who's a fake, they could be like a pastor or a preacher or they could have grown up um, in a strict religious home. Or they may have very devout views on something. But then they're going around doing weird, this is like weird um, love binding or mind control or they're really they really want to know your cleansing routines and i don't think it's just to do with bath like a, a bath and they want to have a camera there to avoid have a bit of voyeurism no they want to know what you use to cleanse things away how do you do it what's the trick to it now you've got knight in mary. reverse mary so mary that might be specifically for someone called mary and i'm getting for someone their sister was called mary and if they've, they've if they've passed on, this is specifically for you. Disordering. There you go. Disordering. And it says here for night, allegiance to destructive a destructive ruler or principle, romantic delusions. What did I tell? What did I say? Romantic delusions here. This person. And who is this destructive ruler? Who is this person? Let me place this one over here. You've also got poet in reverse turns a lyric gift to a negative or destructive effect. This person could be a musician. They could be a poet. They could be an artist. I feel like they're already in the limelight in some way. You have mediator in reverse negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. Come now. I don't know who this destructive ruler or principal is, but they're doing something because they because they get something for, from it. So this person, this is very much um, carnal urges, this person. You guys are reading my mind, I swear, because it says anger on there. And I was about to say a primal, they're kind of like moved by primal, they're primal, they're id, by their id, you know, that that feeling of when you're hungry, not you telling yourself you're hungry. It's that, um, that grumble in your tummy, that's your id saying hunger or um, anger, for example, when uh, somebody wants to fight that feeling that rush that comes in of you know um protecting yourself when you think of like gorillas for example and when you think of like the basis of their how they live is very much through their id it's fight f-u-c-k eat um those basic things this person is very much run by their id by their primal forces and you've got liberator in reverse, imposing your own tyranny over those you claim to liberate, ignoring legitimate constraints. Now, this person is, um, like I said, this is about what they can get. And what they want is very either lustful or greed or it's for the clout, maybe. For the clout, for the clout. Let me turn it this way so we can see which ones we've got coming out. Okay, for the flipping clout. But I don't know, this person maybe parties hard. Um, I don't know if this person uses substances or drinks a lot, and that's come up before. Um, they're trying to figure out how 
how do they go about because you've got a lot of red at the top right with um, grumpy red fairy be your true self and then natural authentic real and organic and then you have over here this three and two which is a condenses down to a five which is about change aggressor tracker and provider so someone's changed their mind on how they were coming towards you 1990s maybe they were born in the 1990s um they could be the same age as you they could be older than you but for some they may they may be quite quite a bit younger they're giving me emperor vibes but they're giving me emperor in reverse and this is somebody who wants to be the emperor in the upright because remember we had that card about um wanting to improve and having internal str struggles but there's a lot of, like it said, disorder, a lot of disorder and chaos around this person. This mediator coming out again, negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. What is it that they think they're going to get? Oh, this is a different card. Chop wood. This is not even the right card. It shouldn't be in there. Chop wood. This person works hard at negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda. And I'm, I'm not even going to say either personally or professional. I think it's for both. If this person is in like the music industry or Hollywood or something along those lines, they're used to having to negotiate really hard to get what they want or to kind of like saying, well, I want that, but not being upfront about all of it. And then when they get that, go, yeah, but you also have to get me this, this and this, and then I'll be able to give you this service. They're... Military. Bro, this person may have been in the military. They may have been in the military or they may, be, they may have come from a military family. One lost soul. One lost soul. What about the one lost soul? Look what's coming out again. This person may be a, a one lost soul because you've got great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation of someone or something. This person really appreciates you, but this person's still doing weird stuff. And I think it's because whatever chaos they have around them, maybe they're aware that that is not what you kick with. That is not what you want. And that's not something that you will lower your standards to. Even if this person's trying to heal or sort themselves out, they've still got these ulterior motives to try and um, manipulate in some way. Because you've got Hunter in reverse and then you've got Prey. It's almost giving me the Huntsman from Snow White. And you know how the Huntsman is being controlled by the evil queen and that she's got his heart in a box? They are ugly. They're ugly. Who's ugly? What, the evil queen? Okay, burn. You've also got teacher in reverse, manipulating or abusing students, teaching negative traits and destructive skills. Who is the evil queen then? Who's this evil queen that may still have a hold of this person's heart or is manipulating this person? Who is the evil queen, please? Male energy. Male energy. The evil queen has male energy. And look what comes out as well. Mother as well. Mother comes out and light attributes for slave. Surrender your power of choices to the divine with complete trust. And mother, nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. I feel like there is some sort of controlling thing going on with this person where they are very much whipped in a certain way when it comes to, or their mother has, um, whatever their mother says they do. You've got damsel in reverse. And it says here, waiting for a night to provide for you seduction by romantic illusion. I feel like their mother is somebody who um, knows how to pretend to be a victim. They may have seen a lot of um, suitors come in and out of the house when they were young or growing up. Um, there seems to have been some sort of volatile upbringing or it's almost like... Um, there are abandonment issues here. Maybe they have issues with feminine energies, be that masculine or feminine, because they didn't really have, um, there wasn't an opportunity here to have a healthy role model. Because even though you've got mother upright, I feel like this person really loves their mum. And it doesn't matter. And it's like joy in giving birth, nurturance, patience, uncon unconditional love. Do they have, is this is, is this their actual mum? Is this their... their um, biological mother for someone here they may be adopted nothing what's nothing they may be adopted why is that coming up why is that important and they've got lover coming out again and then seeing the potential for sacred beauty in, in all things the belief that everything is possible and lover so this person is um, and you've got mental upside down gossip upside down an inability to allow the student to move on to the role of master imparting false information and we had and that's for 
Jordan maybe, but you have, um, we had teacher coming out in reverse as well. So I don't know, this 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 masculine energy that's coming through, they're, they're, they've got mother issues in some way. Either they don't wanna, they don't wanna say no to their mum, whether that's their biological mother or their adoptive mother. And there's a bit of an energy of feeling like um, a bit of a slave. Well, tell me then, because it says here, surrendering to your power of choice, to the divine with complete trust. Oh, so this person's had done a, a, a full 180 or 360. They've literally gone round from wanting to do something with their mum towards someone in the collective to now wanting, I heard you to be their wife or be their husband or be their he, she, they. But they still have a lot of imbal a lot of imbalances. A lot of imbalances. Whoever Gene is, um, you got gossip coming out in reverse as well, and it says it thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betray betraying confidences, seeing the potential in for the seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things, the belief that everything is possible. So this person, and then you've got here prostitute, but it's in the upright, and it says accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiation, without negotiating, without negotiating the power of your spirit. What's going on with my mouth today? My mouth hole is not working properly. There's something here that this person, um, Fatally. this person found out, and I was about to say it seems like a tower, and this person's working really flipping hard now to try and to change something or change their perception or change the way that they are seen by you or seen by someone in the collective. This is why they want to know about someone's like spiritual hygiene I'm getting. August, something's going to happen in August or they may want to try and come forward in August because you've also got here um, plenty of material things. A wish will be granted. Underneath that, you've also got um ring. So this person, I don't know why they're seeing this. They're seeing you or seeing someone as... um marriage material and they're going to work their butt off to try and offer something to you a marriage will take place or either romantic or business and then you've got great and good fortune the thing is though this person is trying to change the way that you or someone perceives them magically it's like they're trying to cover all bases which is manipulation how can you see trust someone in other words when then doing stuff that's untrustworthy they're talking to someone about um, the sacred beauty that you see in all things. Demonic presence. The belief that everything is possible. But that person has some sort of demonic presence around them. I was getting a weird energy from them. A really weird energy. I want to cleanse. I want to get my Paolo Santo out again. Because I was wondering why when I was lighting it, it wasn't burning the way it usually does. And why I felt like I needed to get two incenses out at the same time. This person, I don't know what chaos they've got around them, but they have been around some nefarious people. There's a lot that this person needs to improve in themselves. And it's not really even for someone else. It's more for them. And I heard there's children, there may be children involved. I don't know if you have a child with this person, or this person wants to have a child with you, or they want you to give them a child. Let's have a look what else is going on here, shall we? Okay, that's better. Okay. Tell me, why am I having a look at this one here? Connecting deep within, sacred dance and instinct. And this is four. Connecting down to a four. This is your fourth house. This is to do with the sacral chakra. This is creativity. Plenty of material things that they're trying to stop a Kundalini or they're slowing down. They want to slow down a Karen. Kundalini. They're a proper Karen. And Leo, it says, Leos are often bold characters who enjoy being the centre of attention. They adore entertaining others and are fiercely protective of those they love. And then you have here Rising Sign and Libra, attractive, easygoing and gentle, but it's on its side. There's something happening in the courts. There's something about to happen legally. And they want you on their side. And you've also got here rising sign in Cancer, Libra and, and Cancer coming out. Your birth chart reveals the location of the planets in the sky um, at your birth, giving insight into your personality and your path. So there is an importance to do with your birth chart or they're trying to look at your birth chart. What are they trying to affect the most by her? 
they're, they're trying to affect something the most. No, yeah. Else. Um, really. Those born under Libra are all about balanced, natural-born diplomats with buckets of charm. They enjoy pleasing people and keeping things on an even keel. So this person wants to come in, but they want to do so in like a non-confrontational -confront way. And I keep wanting to trip over my words, and I feel like this is what this person is doing. Because <sighs> I heard they know that they effed up in some way. So whoever this is to you, they know that they've effed up and they're trying to make it better, but they... It's like they're too scared to just come in and tell the truth. So they're trying to do... It's not even a love spell. This, They're doing something here to try and make you soften to them. So that when they come in, you will forgive them. This is why they want to know about your, your cleansing techniques. Or your bathing rituals. And there's a lot of talk going on about... Um, someone here when it comes to finances or it comes to legal matters because um libra is the seventh house it's to do with business partners it's courts it's law um it's finding equilibrium in those areas and when i look up here this is their mother oh my goodness okay so their mother has been stalking and invading and watching someone here okay so it might not even be them that's, they may be do, trying to, they're not trying to do a love spell. What are they trying to do instead? Because this person is like, they are super in love with someone here. Destructive devotion is what I look down at the look bottom. Behind. Look behind what? Obsessive, obsessive passion that harms others, self-destruction devotion. I feel like this person's energy is off, but this is their mother. This is their mother. Their mother is obsessed. Oh my gosh. Their mother is obsessed because their mother is like this mentor. Inability to allow the student to move on to the role of master imparting false instruction. But there's something that happened to this person while they were being taught by their mother to watch you or watch someone in the collective. This person ended up falling in love with you or the person in the collective because they saw that you accentuate the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit so that even if when times got really really hard if it was by the hand of their mother or whoever by watching you or someone in the collective they could see that this person didn't um sell their soul they didn't you know retaliate like tit for tat in a nasty way crystals Somebody was using crystals maybe to ground themselves or to cleanse themselves. They may have been trying to use crystals against you because I think that is really, really dumb when people try to use crystals in a negative way because they're not programmed that way and you can't reprogram them unless you are using a clear quartz. Clear quartz is the only crystal that you can program yourself. Every single other one has been programmed by Mother Gaia, by nature, it's already vibrating at a certain frequency. You can't F with a crystal and go, right, this is rose quartz. I'm going to swap it around so that nobody loves you. It doesn't work like that. You look like a fool when you do that. Um, and I don't know who I'm directing that to, but someone needs to hear that, right? Um, this person was watching, they had some sort of epiphany. Like there was like a light went on for them at some point that it was their mother doing this. They may have said something to their mother and their mother has, they thrive on the power of passing on private or secret information and they betrayed the, the confidences John. of this person. They Maybe they put, they um, betrayed the confidence, I can't speak, the confidences of John when this person was talking about you and how they saw that you see the potential for sacred beauty in everything and that you believe that everything's possible. They could see that you're going through a Kundalini arising. Maybe they're going through a Kundalini arising. Oh me, oh my. What else have we got coming out? Mystic in reverse, delusional rapport with the divine. This person's realizing that their mother is um delusional. Maybe they were they were kind of like um feeding into that delulu a little bit, and now they're realizing Meh. what's happening with this down here? I'm just checking on my incense. Everything seems to be falling down vampire makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force exactly thank you this person's realized they were affiliating with the wrong people but it seems like this person saw their mum as the sun shining out of their butt and i don't know if this is 
like I said, their biological mum or it's their um, their foster mum or their whoever adopted them. They may have seen this person as a joy, you know, um, but they're seeing them for who they actually are and that this person has been sending mad voodoo towards someone, some mad juju, because you were being true to yourself and because you were being authentic, real and organic. False. I swear that I swear the spirits around me are so flipping spicy. If that's false, then tell me what is not. Because they love to wait till I finish saying something like, bitch, no, that's not right. <laughs> I swear, I swear. Oh my gosh. Right, which one should I go for over here? Red? Let's go for red. The Eight of Pentacles to so the Two of Cups, they messed something up. They messed something up. They effed something up. The Hermit. The Eight of Pentacles is about mastering something. So when it's in reverse, it's about failing to master something, failing to understand something, failing to grasp how that new thing works. So whoever it was that was sending things or stalking or trying to invade someone's energy, it's this mother. It's something to do with the mother and mother wounds or your mother's line. They were talking about your mother's line, maybe even talking about your own mum. Two of cups to the devil in reverse. There's some sort of balance coming in for someone because they healed. Someone's healed their mother line. This masculine may have healed their mother line. And you've got the hermit here. This person kind of went into themselves to kind of find that solution. But why have we got voodoo and blue coming out of back off then? Nine of wands. Yeah, this person. This is the wounded healer. Oh, the wounded warrior. I said wounded healer though. That's interesting. Nine of wands is about... Um, if you look at this woman as well, she's constantly got her back up because she's got people that are chasing her. She's having to fight her way out. Say no. Say no. I thought it said they know. I don't know what spirit's with me, but they are quite um, sassy. You're being a bit zesty, aren't you? Grim. Maybe there is a... Do you know what? Maybe there is a message for someone in one of the Brothers Grimm story fa fairy tales. Which one, though? Let us know. Knight of Wands in reverse to the Three of Cups, this person stopped drinking. Or this person stopped hanging around with people who party because you've got the Three of Pentacles in reverse as well. So they there's there's something here about distancing themselves from people who still do messed up ish, still go out and party way too hard. And there's nothing wrong with going out and have you know and partying or going on holiday with your mates and drinking and stuff like that, if that's what you're into. But it's when you take it beyond enjoyment. And this person was getting effed up way too many times in that way. They have seemed to have cut this off. There's something that they've healed within themselves that turned them from the hunter and tracker into the reverse, into somebody who wants to be a provider. Three of cups to the knight of wands. Yeah, they've stopped doing this completely. You've also got the two of cups here. This person wants to have a balanced relationship. Maybe they see you as being this balanced the balance that could be in their life the ten of wands is upside down this was hard this was really really hard for someone here strength and we started off with the card yeah that is be true to yourself grumpy red fairy and it's got an eight at the top and this is also and we've got leo coming out i don't know if this person is a leo or if there's something about your fifth house that shines through your solar plexus and it kind of gold it's very fiery it's very sunny You've got the queen of swords here to the hermit this person may have ghosted you in the past or let you go you look you may have let them go because you have pentacles in reverse four of pentacles is about releasing something or surrendering something and again look it's coming down to the mother because the shadow attributes of mother is smothering or abandoning children instilling guilt in children for becoming independent there is a really dysfunctional relationship this person may have with their mother and this is the reason why they do anything their mum says i don't know if so much this person was adopted they could be but i'm getting that energy of their mum not being there for them when they needed them when they were young and they may have spent time in foster care or they was they spent time in like i don't know away from their mum 
and it effed them up a little bit and it would anyone um so when they got older if they had contact with that mother they do anything their mum said or they believed anything their mum said because they wanted to be around their mum why am i getting that i'm scared to take action this person may still be in hermit mode at the moment very very much into themselves and kind of analyzing themselves and there's something about analyzing the past analyzing the past or past behavior be that towards you or just past behavior in general and you've got the queen of swords here in reverse so yeah this is like complete shutdown complete shutdown this kind of um blocking the kundalini because someone someone is, is on the way to going through a kundalini arising and you have more than one in your life connecting deep within sacred dance and instinct. detecting multiple multiple what exactly multiple what could be multiple kundalini arisings i don't know now that one you're sticking out to me not you you and look at that it's upside down and it is blank now why did i get that and this one here hero and heroine passion for a journey of personal empowerment and underneath you've got escapism and false sense of heroism this person's frightened they're frightened to take that step towards the journey of personal power empowerment you may have um inspired them to do so but someone here i heard is worried about what other people will say because it will be such a departure from the behavior and the way that they used to party and go out and have promiscuous you know intercourse and stuff like that and look it's your body you treat it how you want to but you only get one accident what's the accident i heard a happy little accident that isn't happy so this is kind of like you've got to take care of yourself if you are sleeping with multiple people you need to put a um you need to put some protection on because that's how you get sick and that's how you you know create babies and little souls that you know end up being in dysfunctional families or in um one parent families or being terminated and that's a lot of um stress and chaos that doesn't need to be added to the mix so people this person's scared to take a chance or take a step or do something because of the fear of failing Vessel. but also the fear of um how people will react to them so this person at the moment is in super hermit maybe this was you maybe that you went into hermit mode because if you know who this person is if you've had an experience with them in the past it may have made you shut down hmm. i'm scared to take action i want to see this I'm scared to take action on what come now they may wish to ask you out on a date for a drink of some sort but like a, i'm hearing a civilized drink like taking you to a bar or a restaurant or something along those lines or go for a coffee listen and you've got here unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection and attraction and then this side one says talking and it's upside down they're not they're not saying or they didn't say in the past mm -hmm. interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email and hovering so this person is scared to take action maybe who they were hanging around with before would have been seen as a demonic entity demonic entities can be the actual um, alcohol i don't drink alcohol because it it pokes holes in your aura it weakens your aura why do you think people act stupid and crazy when they're drunk but alcohol is a poison that is the effects of poisoning your body is the reason why we get so wobbly and fall over and vom everywhere and you know if that's what other people do that's what other people do and i'm not going to judge them but i don't want to put that issue into my body i stopped smoking last year i don't even smoke um or anything like that i don't it's just water decaf coffee um some people will be like well you're you know you'd be fun at a party i actually would be fun at a party and i'd be able to get up the next day and go for a jog while all the rest of you are still in bed going oh my head hurts and it's self you know self-inflicted right exactly you've got girl talk in reverse time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment and having fun so this person is um they're looking back at some of the, the some of the, the things they did as a person when it comes to negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda either personally or professionally and they're kind of kicking themselves or they're not talking about it 
Well, they don't really know how to come forward and be like, well, this is who I used to be. This is what I did. I listened to my mum because they're my mum and because I have these wounds here where I wanted to keep this person happy because I didn't want them to leave again. And I ended up doing stupid things. You know in your heart I am always there. I can't wait for the day I can call you my wife. I'm telling you, this person wants to marry you. Trust in me, trust in us, I'm coming back for you. This person wants to marry you or they want to marry somebody in the collective, someone in the collective. They had let go of this for a very long time or their mum wanted them to let go of this. What did their mother do? What did their mother actually do though? Cassette, old outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head so their mother is very good at gaslighting or their mother guilt tripped them into doing something they guilt tripped them into getting information from them in the first place thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information betraying confidences this is the type of person that looks like mother Teresa on the outside but is the biggest b-word ever and I got that before in some of my other readings, like this, this mother hen kind of energy of just come to me, I'll look after you, tell me all your secrets. I want to note them all down though. And then they'll tell you about somebody else's. And then they keep hold of all of this information like bribery. Flowers. Hmm. The best is yet to come. I am so close you don't even know it. The best is yet to come. Now that card, what's that card there? Slave, surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. The best is yet to come. So there's something really good coming in for you. And I don't know. I'm so close you don't even know it. I'm getting that with the mother though. This mum is up in someone's business here. Properly up in someone's business. Voodoo in blue back off with clean up. Outdated thinking. What's the outdated thinking though? Our new beginning is so close, it's upside down. They're trying to block something. They're trying to block something from coming through because you've got Phoenix in reverse. And it says here, new phase, rekindle, renew, transform, or transformation, growth, changed mind, and it's upside down. They're trying to block some sort of union from coming in. They want to block um, this passion for a journey of personal empowerment, whether that's for you or whether that's for their child. They want to keep their child burdened in some way or constantly fighting off their demons. In August, something's coming in for someone here, though. Hopefully. Yeah. What do you mean, hopefully? I love when they're, like, really vague. It's almost like shaking the eight ball, isn't it? Imagine a magic eight ball. It's like, possibly. Anything else that needs to come out about this? Unsuccessful plans. So something in August is not going to turn out, all right? It's going to be good luck for someone. And it's going to be really bad plans for us, someone else. Tell me more about unsuccessful plans in August. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So this literally could be that there is there's something going on with this person, this, this masculine energy and their mother. I don't know if maybe this masculine has found out what they're doing. And I heard for sure. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change beware of self-delusion someone's really up in themselves someone is leaving your life see this is what i mean i don't know if this masculine is going to reach out because they're scared to take action they are either going to completely brick it and not get in contact with you whatsoever and just ghost you or in in august they're going to try and come forward but it may be unsuccessful i heard because of their mother because of their mother 70 what now why is this 70 30 all of these are upside down I don't want to get confused, so I'm going to take these out, put them the right way. Close up, pleasure with a close friend. This is someone that you might already know from your past. In August, maybe coming back. I heard I can't fight these feelings. Can't fight this feeling anymore. Da, 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 da. You've got heart coming out, love, deep affection and caring. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So what's coming in with this plenty of material things? Something important such as a new job or raise. Is this person going to offer you a job or are you just going to get a raise? Love, deep affection and caring. This is going to, You're going to be getting some sort of um, job offer from somebody who is in love with you or has deep affection and caring. So it's obviously this person here. Great personal sorrow. An emotional, emotionally secure loving family. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. And great personal sorrow came out as well. 
things will not always be this way change is coming tell me about this voodoo in blue please obstacles to overcome so someone may want to cleanse their root chakra i'll put that decree down below if that's something that interests you just so that you know the energy that um this content creator uses is all high vibrational he works with angels and archangels if that is not your bag please have a look at the other links that i've put in that you can use instead and see if that works for you um journey either physical or mental is coming out so someone needs to go on some sort of journey here when it comes to how you cleanse yourself yeah it says you know i thought it said for you this when it comes to removing what has been sent has more to do with how you are honestly true to yourself and how you are authentic and real and organic with yourself and it's not saying that you're being fake but it can be scary sometimes to completely unmask and just be like this is me this is who i am and this is what I'm, this is who i'm going to be from now on i'm not going to mask i'm not going to pretend to place a personality on how you would like me to be because some people do that and i heard neurodivergency nice. um night um this here there's something that someone needs to say to themselves or someone needs to be honest with themselves about their style or how they do their makeup or whether they want to get their throat cut or whether whatever that may be and then rather than conforming to how other people expect you to look or act or be it's just genuinely being yourself genuinely and i don't want everyone in the comments to be like well i'm already authentic because one I thought I was authentic um, two years ago. I thought I was being completely authentic to myself. I wasn't. We are always learning and growing and expanding and finding more layers of ourselves that we either are uncomfortable with, that we learn to grow to love or we need to heal or parts that we didn't know were there and we kind of add on. And the other side of it is if you're saying that you're being authentic to yourself, truly ask yourself whether or not for real, you actually care whether or not other people comment on the way that you dress. If you dress wacky or weird or strange or do you conform to other people's societies, like society's norms of what is beautiful or handsome? Are you doing that because you feel comfortable in doing so or are you doing that because everybody else is doing that? And that's not me judging in any way, shape or form. It really isn't. It's me asking a question to you and you don't have to answer me. That's for yourself. Um, and I'm only saying that because... I used to conform very much. I wanted to fit in because I didn't know how to fit in. And the minute that I stopped trying to fit in is when I found myself. And myself is weird and wonderful and quirky and neurodivergent and likes bright colours. And I'm going to do that. I'm literally just going to do that. And if people don't like me, get lost. Seriously, <laughs> just get lost. And it says, and like it says in here, this card was stuck inside... Um, a different deck and it says focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work and self-appreciation get this yes because for someone here they need this this is how you actually cleanse away whatever it is that's being sent by this mother or this mother energy the more that you are true to yourself the more you let yourself sh shine the more you let yourself if you are and i know i keep coming back to like neurodivergency or being neuro spicy the right. less the, thank you the less that and it's right as in right but I, I thought she said right the more that you don't mask for other people the more it's going to heal something within your root because our root chakra is to is the place of um security safety identity how we place ourselves in the world and how we connect to the communi communication and the community around us that's why there's so much red in these two as well there's so much red and we did have the hunter and tracker card coming out and that card was black and red as well and i feel like at some point whoever this masculine energy is irrespective of gender this person they shied away from how they felt towards you because they were worried about how other people would think of them or look at them or how they'd be placed in society because they'd already given themselves the role of being a specific way the mad dude that goes out and parties or the mad girl that goes out and does this this and this and they couldn't be associated with somebody who was so different to them because they thought they'd get laughed at or they thought that whatever they thought it was coming from a place of fear it was coming from a place of limitation and this person realizes this and they feel like they have completely messed something up completely messed something up and i don't know why i'm getting so many of these love readings coming through but this this person wants commitment complete commitment they're not and i'm getting this person's got like a knot in their stomach they've got a knot in their stomach 
but they're going to want to collaborate in some way. This one. Okay, let's see. Let's do this one, and then I'm going to go. Queen of That's Raphael. Such... Yeah, they're properly uncertain. Kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So this person is like following their heart home to you. You've also got the chariot coming out and it's in reverse. And it says determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. But that's upside down. I don't know if this person's coming forward with some sort of truth about um, an opportunity they could have offered you in the past that would have actually advanced your career. But they didn't because of what they were told about you. There's something here about lies or... The way that they they were taught to negotiate with an ulterior motive or a hidden agenda in both personally and professional like instances, they didn't want to come towards you for some reason, either because they knew that you'd read them straight away or the opposite, because they thought that you were a fraud or something's going on here and they didn't want to associate. Their mother told them not to associate with you. This outdated thinking. Mm -hmm yeah conditioning replaying events in in your head i don't know i had something about the church and that will be for specific people that won't be for everyone and then you've got new beginnings with archangel jeremiah or nice. jeremiah and it says starting a new life finding your purpose a forgiving and compassionate review of the past so this person wants to come come forward with some sort of apology but they're scared to take action right now they have wounding from their own mother rejecting them. They don't want to be rejected by you. And this is why they are kind of like, they want to come forward, but they keep stopping themselves. They keep going, it's going to be unsuccessful. I'm going to be rejected. I, I need to offer them something or I need, to give, I need to give them something. I need to push myself and give them something so they know that I'm being serious and that I've changed and that I've grown and that, you know... Um, I can work on certain things. So this at the start where I'm thinking that they're, they're sending something towards you. I don't think it's them. I think it's their mother. Their mother is trying to place a massive, massive wedge. A massive wedge. A massive wedge. To clear this for good, as in it makes no difference if this person... It makes no difference if this mother sends stuff. It really does. It. it makes no difference because... It gets cleansed, it gets ground, and it gets sent. It gets sent back to to the light, to wherever it came from, or to re it gets returned to sender. But there's someone's guides are coming through and saying to get to the point where whatever they send doesn't even get off the ground. It doesn't even get over towards them to be sent back. Someone here needs to go on that small journey, and it's it's not a long journey, a physical or mental journey, to overcome this um, obstacle. It's really tapping into your authentic light of who you are. Are you quirky? Are you quirky? Are you um, are you a little bit um, eccentric? Are you actually the opposite and very logical and really like specific um, tasks and this and that and blah blah blah? Whatever it is that really helps you to connect with your magical inner child, you're being asked to do that and to not not to hold not to hold back not to hold back if you want to go out wearing all red head to toe looking like um a f you know a fire hydrant or, or whatever do it if that's what makes you happy there's something here about taking yes. away all types of limitations when it comes to how you express yourself because doing so it means that whatever is sent by this mother is literally burnt to a crisp the minute it tries to get off of the floor so new beginnings New beginnings, new beginnings, and four of Michael insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek seek re uh, relief from stress. Yeah, this person's very, very stressed out. They're very, very stressed out. And you've also got his solutions in reverse. And the emperor, I knew the emperor in reverse would come out. I knew it would. I knew it would. Because you've got solutions, success that comes from objective compromise, self control, and patience. Forgiving and healing energy is upside down. No. Right? There's no, there's none. There's none whatsoever. Um, this person, I don't know if this forgivingness, maybe it may be a resistance coming from somebody in the collective who's just like, no, I'm, I'm not interested. Success that comes from objective compromise. Objective is someone needs to take themselves out of the situation. And they need to imagine if they were, because especially if this resonates for you, there's a need for someone here 
to I pull... have here. Yeah, I know there's somebody here who's kind of putting their fingers in their ears the minute I'm saying this and going, la, 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 I can't hear you. But Spirit is saying someone here needs to take themselves out of this situation and imagine as if they were a bystander or imagine if they it was their friend coming to them and going, well, this is what's going on and this is how I feel and this is the history that I might have had with this person or it may have been that this was a friend and we had some feelings back, blah, 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 but nothing really happened. Whatever it may be for you, what type of advice would you give? Not, oh, you should dump that person's arse or blah, blah, blah. What mature, grown-up advice would you give to yourself if you pull yourself out of that situation? Okay, because it could literally just be, do you know what? I'm, I'm not interested and I'm not going to make a fuss about it. I just want to move on. It could be, I want to hear this person out. I want to know exactly what they've been doing. And are they going to choose me or are they going to run back to their mum? And are they going to, you know, try and appease their mum again? For someone here I heard again, self control and patience forgiving and healing energy because someone's vexed here someone's very angry or somebody's just like not putting up with this ish anymore and that's why this person's scared to come forward and tell them how much they love you Four spirits archangel zadkiel is here as well but this is in reverse so someone i don't know if archangel zadkiel or archangel amethyst have been trying to reach out to someone here and they've been refusing refused entry by someone in the collective who's just like f that I don't I don't need to be um, forgiving or in a healing energy of course we do you know what forgiveness is one of the hardest things to do because when we have trauma or betrayal or anything like that it leaves a scar on us without a doubt and I will never tell somebody else that they need to forgive whoever because it's your story it's not mine I can only go by my own experience but it took me a very long time to forgive certain people from my past and I'm still on a healing journey when it comes to certain experiences. But I always aim to try and get to that point where I do forgive. Because it's not even about forgiving them. It's me. You, When you don't forgive someone, you carry that stagnant energy in your subtle bodies, in your mental body, on your soul, on your physicality. Whether or not you think about it. Because the minute the person, the minute that you watch something like this and it triggers that, if it's triggering any type of kind of resistance or volatility, that wound is still there. That wound is still there. When you get to a point where you can go, do you know what? I forgive that for what they did. I actually, I'm going to let go of it and let go of it. I'm going to push that to the side and I'm going to carry on. That, that wound won't be there. The next time you hear their name, if you've truly forgiven them, it won't trigger anything. And that is peace of mind. Peace of mind. Who doesn't want peace of mind? Because this emperor in reverse stability and efficiency taking charge of a situation ambitious plans is upside down this person doesn't know how to come forward in an honest light because they've been so used to doing things with ulterior motives or for hidden agendas and they did something to someone who is the queen of Raphael, the queen of cups someone who's kind understanding giving and psychic now they want to follow their heart they want they want to go they want a home and a family and they know that the information that they're getting about you or someone in the collective, that now they're trusting their own inner guidance. They're realizing this is this is trustworthy psychic information. And I know that I'm going to trigger some people about the forgiveness and they're going to be like, I shouldn't forgive. Where, where, where? Do what you like. It's your life. Okay. But if you want inter inter internal peace, giving forgiveness it's not about going well they didn't do a b and c because of course they still did that and it still leaves an imprint or a scar but that person's out there living their life mm -hmm. and getting on with it and we're the ones that are left there pouring in stagnant energy pouring in stagnant energy into a wound and then pretending the wound isn't there and going but i'm fine but we're not because if you were you wouldn't be commenting about a b and c asshole from however long ago who hurt you and that's and I am calling out people in the kindest and most loving way. Unmercifully. What does that say? Unmercifully. Okay. Um. Anyway, this emperor being in reverse, this person doesn't know. They don't know how to come forward. This person may be feeling really unstable at the moment. They don't know how to take charge of this this situation because they've never come up against somebody who says what they mean, that does what they say. They've always, they've always worked. Yeah, look, love. Love is coming out. This person has never been around somebody who openly and genuinely loved them or openly, genuinely just saw the goodness in all. And if you know this person from the past, this scared the crap out of them in the past. 
But now, now this person, their mother doesn't like the fact they haven't got control over them. You've got the magician, Archangel Raziel. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. So there's a beginning coming in for someone here. And this masculine energy, they're scared that if you have this beginning without them, that it would just be gone. They'll be gone. They'll be forgotten. There'll be no way that you would even consider forgiving them, let alone letting them back into your life. Ace of Raphael is upside down. Exactly. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. And it's all upside down. It's all in reverse. And the magician, that once you've got what you want in your life for yourself, there, there will be no space. And you've got a river coming up. There'll be no space for them. There'll be no space for you to even think about them or go, I forgive you. Because you'll be on to bigger and better things. And that's what they're seeing. And it's crushing them. Eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. Now that being upside down, there's also this energy of feeling like um, you know more than they do or your skill set is at a different level to theirs. There's a lot of regret coming through. There's a lot of regret coming through. Four of Gabriel time for celebration abundant rewards for hard work release yourself from burdensome situations is upside down this person is going through it's, i don't know if it's a divorce or they're going through a separation they may have actually um become estranged from their own mother then they may not be talking to them anymore three of ariel in reverse do what you love a time of great personal growth in your career or art artistic endeavors working with others in a cooperative manner this person i don't know if they've walked out on a job or they've they've walked out on their mother some sort of collaboration that they had they don't want it anymore they're done with like this outdated thinking conditioning and replaying events over in their head their mother is very good at manipulating it going don't you remember when this is and this happened and it all went to crap because you let your feelings get in the way or something along those lines that change your life a sudden revelation that offers freedom break free of procrastination Shit. embrace the opportunities that change brings and you've got shade coming out but i heard shame change your life a magician something's coming to someone something big is coming to someone and i heard let me share it with you let me share it with you nine of michael your worry is unnecessary focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire release feelings of regret guilt or worry to your angels and three of michael somebody is trying to heal because the Nine of Michaels in reverse to the Three of Michaels, this is somebody healing their mental body. This masculine is healing from shame or guilt. What else do we need to know before I go, please? And thank you. Paige and Ariel, reliable, clever, educated and balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. It's time to get to work and it's upside down. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success and love for beautiful things in life. So when they were supposed to offer something in the past and they didn't because of what people were whispering in their ear about you, this, you sidestepping it anyway, wasn't for you. Because they're, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love of beautiful things in life. Something else is coming to you. you I heard you made it without them anyway. And they're realising this. They're realising that if they had offered something, be it a hand in marriage or a hand in love, or even if it was a business offer, because this person has a lot of connections, I'm hearing, in some way. Drink. They have a lot of drink. They have a lot of connections. They're wishing that they had actually given you the offer because by now you'd both be climbing some sort of career um, ladder together. But they listened to their mum. They listened to their mum and they ended up with a ten of swords. A situation has ended. You are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you because they're seeing you as going forward and not needing them. Like what can they offer you? that you already can't offer to yourself. Someone here has been through a lot of towers, a dark nights of the soul. They've been through some tumultuous ish and they come out the other side stronger, stronger. And it comes back to being your true self, authentic, raw and organic. And someone here needs to continue on that journey of involvement when it comes to um, the evolution of self, when it comes to how you 
shine your authentic light whether it is dyeing your hair whether it is you know wearing weird clothes whether it is singing from the top of your lungs out the window every morning whatever that is for you doing so and they've seen this and they realize that the snakes around them they're realizing and they're kicking themselves in the, they're kicking themselves in the mouth in the foot in whatever because they know that your dreams are being fulfilled that you put a lot of hard work in to get this success and this love of beautiful things that you've always had that they saw before is what's bringing in more for you Concern. and if only they had been there with you if only they weren't negotiating with an ulterior motive and a hidden agenda if only they were being true to themselves like you are well that's sad in it that's really sad that's really sad because here you've got look ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load working too many hours trying too hard to please others this person is trying to please way too many people way too many other people and now they're seeking out other possibilities and they're, they're trying to look for the magic in life and they're trying to be aware of their own emotions but they are at the moment the emperor in reverse so this person may be their emotions may be all over the place they may be realizing that they need either therapy or they need maybe they need medication and there's there's no stigma with that whatsoever not on this not on this channel you know it's okay not to be okay as long as you are reaching out for support and you are looking after yourself and you are leaning on people when you need to lean on people and it says your plans are working out well professional why are you shouting your plans are working out very well professional and financial success using resources wisely so something's coming to someone here successful stable accomplished and powerful I feel like i don't want to go on too much more i think this is it is that it yeah i'm going to leave it there i really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know if you are new to my channel and this resonated i would love you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when i post i'm really sorry if i speak very quickly sometimes the energy comes through really really fast and i end up just going blah, 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 blah. um someone did say in one of my other readings um if you tap on the corner i think there is like options to slow down the speed so you can actually hear me i'm really sorry if i if i do speak too quickly you can also put the captions on as well and in your own settings on your, on your own um page you you should be able to change the settings when it comes to how big the captions come out so that you can follow it um for those who are returning subscribers soul family i love you thank you so 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 much anyone that would like to be part of the gofundme if you'd like to donate to the gofundme that i've got down below it's not for me it is for an awesome 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 cause loku's dog and cat care rescue which is in the east coast of sri lanka it is the only shelter and rescue in the east coast of sri lanka and when you think of sri lanka it, is, it looks like a teardrop like that it is the only one over here is that east yeah east over here it's the only one i've been to sri lanka quite a few times i've been to gaul which is down the bottom which is like a small um fishing village um there are so many street dogs there are so many street dogs and the street dogs because they're not neutered their population is out of control and be because there is quite a lot of i'm going to switch you off thank you so much for your help thank you so much um because there are there has been a lot of um turmoil when it comes to sri lanka in that when they when we had the pandemic 2020 it hit them so flipping hard because they they survive off of tourism and tourism went to a standstill and then on top of that their um government decided they didn't want to use pesticides anymore on their um their paddies and on anything that was growing you know vegetables and rice and things like that and so they literally ended up near a uh, near famine they nearly starved i have you know my um my niece is half Sri Lankan and the, the, her family on that side, like my, my younger sister kept in contact with them and they were having to go out and search for wood so that they could burn it for heat in the middle of the winter because they couldn't afford anything. It, it really messed them up. And when it comes to street dogs, it's not something that they're going to be thinking about because they're thinking about themselves and how they survive and not in a horrible way. Um, in Sri Lanka, animals are mainly, I'd say 95% of animals are used for work and for guarding. The other 5% are very lucky in having being pets, um, but it's a very, very small amount. So all, that shelter was opened by Connie Horchen. She's German and she was traveling however many years ago um, around Asia. And she found this little dog with a, a neck injury called Loku, or she named him Loku. Loku and she's just spent her life savings in making this this animal shelter 
she goes out and she deworms the animal she feeds them she has up to 150 dogs in her care and she has 50 cats in her care so they're at full capacity but she still goes out with a small team that she has and they look for any animals that are injured so they can send them into mainland candy which is hours away so they can get medical medical treatment but it all costs money and they're really struggling me and my sister had the idea of you know doing a gofundme for them because the money it it stretches it really goes far especially because the Sri Lankan rupee is something like double tripled or quadrupled I can never remember between themselves and the British sterling or the American um, dollar so it goes really really far we were just trying to raise 400 pounds which is about 450 dollars we so far the total so far is six thousand flipping pounds okay I've already sent five grand over to um, Connie um, she is able now to send two disabled dogs over to Germany because they have a better um, there's a better like percentage of them being um, adopted there than there is in Sri Lanka another um, disabled animal is able to have amputations on their legs and they'll be able to get a wheelchair instead um, she said that she's bought boxes of it's called Nexgod I think Nex Nexapro Nexapro it's a dewormer that lasts for three months so it means that when she's out and she's traveling around if she sees any animal that has really bad mange or anything like that she can give it to them with a little bit of meat or, or cheese or whatever and it will it will get rid of it and they'll be covered for three months and she just keeps going out and gives them to them um and also that money's going to go towards um a lot of them being neutered um she said that when she has got time she is going to do a video for us but it's not going to be something that we're going to get straight away because she eats sleeps and breathes the shelter she has so many animals in her care that she wakes up and gets straight to it and goes to sleep wakes up and all, all over again it's not like when you see on youtube when you know the dudes goes to pick up loads of different dogs and he's got like 150 dogs on his 300 acre house and he's just like look at this new dog no she's not gonna be able to do that um but as soon as she sends videos to me i will be uploading them i want to i know that it was really long-winded but i feel like i needed to say that it's so important what she's doing thank you to all of you who have donated to those who wish to donate all of the information is down below if you go past all of the links for um the cleansing transmissions and meditations underneath that i sometimes put um i think it's songs songs go on top and then we have the clearing transmissions and then underneath that you will have the locus dogs cats and care thing down there there's also um a link to her website if you wanted to have a look on there there is also a link to the um to her facebook okay which is linked into the the um that animal rescues um thingy bob as well so it's all underneath there if you wanted some more information before thinking about um, donating if you can't afford to donate that's okay um if you could just share um the, the gofundme and um, the information about them to everybody and anybody annoy your friends annoy your family annoy everybody with multiple posts posting keep posting and posting and posting because the more that we get it out there the more support we're going to get for this beautiful tiny little shelter that's doing such a world of good um she also does um sponsoring so she sponsors there's an, an opportunity to sponsor an animal which i think costs like 12 pounds which is like 14 dollars a month which is cheaper than most starbucks kind of like um deliveries or whatever it is when you go and order i don't know how much coffees are in america um but that means that she's able to place certain animals and match them with families and then she will teach them there are um like little apprenticeship kind of like uh, things going on where she'll teach them about animal care um, they get their vets and their um, their food paid for um, and it kind of links in the community with them and gives them more of an awareness of what to do when they see an injured animal or how to take care of them it's all really important anyone that would like to do that that's all down below there and i've just talked for well five minutes on that um i love you all please do not get tricked by any scammy scammers trying to hustle you for money in the comment section of any of my videos and on my community um board page know that i will never reach out for you for, to solicit a reading anyone doing that is just not me okay i will not ask you to take this number and whatsapp me no one's getting my whatsapp number unfortunately i love you but not that much um, <laughs> um if you see anything like that just block and report them please if it says bromans cove tarot as the handle it's not me that's not my handle um 
I think that's it. I think I've talked so much that my throat is really dry and I need a drink, a cup of tea. So I will see you later. I hope you guys have a really awesome day, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next one. Stay awesome. Bye. Oh God, I'm going to knock everything over.